I want to talk about the top verses that churches twist to make millions of dollars of God. And you're going to see very quickly that these people are twisting the word of God and people just don't see it because they don't read their Bibles. Uh, there are two passages that are frequently twisted uh, by preachers and teachers to try to make millions of dollars. Two verses. The first one is Luke chapter 6 verse 38 and the other one is Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. There is no verse that actually says you have to give money to your local church. He reads this passage. He begins in verse 7. He reads, he reads verse 7 and 8 and then he pauses looks at verse 9 and then reads verse 10 and skips verse 9. This is something actually that a lot of preachers do and, and it really shows how deliberate their deceit is because verse 9 makes it very clear that this is about giving to the poor, not about giving to their churches, especially because they're filthy rich. But when you read verse 9, the passage that they skip, and it's interesting, he pauses, he looks at it and then moves on to verse 10. But here's the clip from Todd White. All right. In verse 6 of 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Thanks for being at Lakewood today. It's going to be a great summer for you and your family, and we're blessed to have you in person and online. Well, we'll take a moment to receive our tithes and our offerings. We always want to thank you for your donations, keeping the ministry going. You're not really giving to people, you're giving to the Lord. I love that scripture. It says, when you help those in need, you are lending to the Lord and he will repay you. I love that scripture. It says, when you help those in need, you are lending to the Lord and he will repay you. That's what you do each week or every time you give, you are lending to God. And I know you've seen in your own life, God knows how to repay you. Nobody can pay you like God can pay you with, with good health, with ideas, good relationships, and with the finances you need to fulfill your destiny. Now it is true that Lakewood Church does give some money to the poor, but it's only a very small fraction of what they're given, and it's easy to be generous with other people's money. I mean, most of the money is wasted or it goes to Joel Osteen for his luxurious lifestyle. The, the church, Lakewood Church, the renovations alone cost $100 million that's crazy stuff. Uh, Joel Osteen lives in a massive house, huge house. He's got a private jet. The guy's filthy rich. Uh, he goes on holidays all over the world. I mean, the money's being wasted. The money really should be given to the poor and to the needy and should be given to missionaries who are going out and spreading the gospel, going out and planting real churches where the word of God is preached. That's where this money ought to be going. We should never give this money to these churches. We should repent. The church community needs to repent of giving money to these filthy rich mega church pastors and their ministries.